My name is Heather, but I'm known as Vessel of Blood on social media. It is December 30th, 2023. I am 31 years old. I spent more time with loved ones, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I took my mom to go see the Rockettes in New York City. Memories are so precious, and I've been trying to make more of those this year, especially with family. I love that I do everything myself. I have full creative control. So I get to choose how I look, what I say, how I'm edited. Being creative is very fulfilling for me. I love making things. And the best part about making content is that you have a finished product at the end which you can share with people. I have to check, I'm not sure. <laughs> On Instagram, I have 73.8 thousand followers. On YouTube, I have 71,337 subscribers. And on TikTok, which is my biggest platform right now, I have 216,000.2 followers, which is a lot. <laughs> my biggest video is on TikTok. I have one sitting at 10.3 million views right now. It's a video of me singing a part of a Ramstein song in church, the opera part of Sonnet. I got a lot of hate for that one. But I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I was just practicing in the church and I thought I would do that piece from Ramstein because I love that song. For YouTube, I have 785,000 views on an AliExpress video. That was one of my first YouTube videos to ever go viral. And then on Instagram, my most viewed video is of my feet. I have 1.6 million views on my goth platform heels. <laughs> and I know exactly why that one went viral is because I showed my feet and I have quite a large following of foot fetishists, especially for goth feet apparently. So you're welcome guys <laughs> for the free content. <laughs> That is a tough one. For those of you who may be watching me for the first time, I am a fashion influencer. That is what I do. I love clothing. My favorite outfit. If I had to pick one, I'd say my outfit from day two of going to EDC in Orlando. It was my first time ever going to a music festival and I wanted to go all out. I made my own hair. I bought an outfit specifically for that. I think this outfit was from Freedom Rave Wear. This outfit sums up my style very well. It's gothic. It's color coordinated from the hair to the outfit. I have sparkly blood dripping out of my eyes and mouth. You know, just a normal Tuesday for me. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's my favorite outfit from this year if I had to pick just one. Oh, that's an easy one. I dyed my first ever human hair wig this year, and I'm very happy with how it came out, but I got roasted for it on Reddit. I don't know why. I think people didn't like the color combination. People were saying that the green at the bottom makes it look sickly. I don't know. I love it. Doing that definitely gave me a very healthy respect for anyone who is in hair as a profession. It took so long to dye that hair and then wash it out and style it. I think it took me around six to eight hours just to do the dye, which was insane. Hair stylists are amazing. Pay them. <laughs> and not only dyeing it and mixing up the colors, but being on your feet that whole time. I don't know how they do it. What did I eat today? <laughs> I forget what I eat. I went out to breakfast with my boyfriend this morning and I had a mushroom egg skillet, which was really tasty. It had goat cheese, spinach, potatoes, and eggs. Where didn't I go this year? I traveled a lot, which was amazing. I love to travel. I had my first ever cruise this year and I went to the Caribbean, which I have wanted to go to since high school. That's been a big dream of mine and I cried. <laughs> I cried while I was there on the ocean. I went to Puerto Rico on that cruise. I went to the Dominican Republic. I traveled to Orlando for EDC and I went all three days. I went to New Orleans with my boyfriend for our anniversary and the food there was so good. I went to Florida a second time and then did a road trip to South Carolina, I think, with one of my best friends to go see some bands that we love. I went to New York City a lot this year to see many concerts and shows. I traveled to Maine, Salem for a horror convention and another concert, and I think that's it. <laughs> Probably either the pumpkin head photo shoot one with my boyfriend or the Pixar animation one with my boyfriend. They both came out really cute. Definitely the beginning of this year was very, very hard for me. I had a lot of health related issues where I couldn't take care of myself and I'm really grateful to my family and my boyfriend for helping me through that because that was rough. <laughs> I couldn't shower myself. I could barely get out of bed. I couldn't really walk that well. So I'm really grateful that now I've been able to make a fairly full recovery and I'm able to work and do the things that I love and travel and go places. So yeah, definitely the beginning of this year. Take care of yourself. Health is really important and spend more time with loved ones. I'm gonna have to think about that. That's a tough one. I think I would tell myself not to despair because I had a really hard time with that 
and just to know that not everything is permanent, it's going to be okay. And there is a light at the end of all this. My mom, she's an amazing lady and she inspires me every day with what she does and her work ethic, how kind she is. Yeah, definitely my mom. I have a couple, actually, which I'm really grateful for, getting to work with the Gothic cruise and promoting it and getting to go on the actual cruise itself. A friend of mine said that I'd made it <laughs> when I told her about getting to work with Live Nation, and it just felt really good. It felt like all of my years of hard work are finally paying off now because I'm getting all these big opportunities, and it feels really good. <laughs> and then I also got invited to a Broadway show this year, which was amazing. I'm a huge fan of musical theater. I've been in one musical. I'd love to be in more. So getting to do that was just a dream come true. Every day. Life is too short not to talk to and be close with the people that I love, so I'm always in contact with them. <laughs> I'm always texting my mom cute TikToks. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. I love that movie way too much. I first discovered it in high school, and once I watched it the first time, I watched it two to three times a day, every day for, I want to say, three months. But everything about that film is just so amazing. The characters, the actors, the music. Oh, that soundtrack is one of my top soundtracks of all time. Anything by Hans Zimmer is amazing. Yep, it's always going to be Pirates for me. That changes daily. Today I was listening to What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish. I love her. I do. I try not to let it control me though, because if I start letting other people's expectations control what I do, it's not gonna make things easier or better for me or anybody else who watches my content. It's always hard for content creators and anyone who makes things for social media because people consume what we make faster than we can make it. And it's hard to find that balance of work and life, especially because with what I do, I work from home. So I have to find breaks in the day instead of continuing to make a video, I need to, you know, take a break. There have been many times where I will forget to take care of myself by eating and drinking water just because I'm in that mindset of filming, 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 making content, editing. Oh look, it's 10 p.m. <laughs> where did the day go? So there's definitely pressure to make good quality content fast, which is hard to do, but I do my best. <laughs> yes, I do. And he is an amazing man. I don't know what I would have done without him this year. So thank you, babe. Love you. Not being brave enough to pursue the things that I've always dreamt about. Mostly when it comes to acting, because I am self-taught when it comes to those things, and I'm really grateful to have been in the things that I have. I've done a few movies, I've done, you know, a web series. I've been in one musical, I want to be in more. <laughs> I was in a production of Dracula this year, which was absolutely amazing, but I know I've let my own self-doubt and fear stop me from applying to other things that I'd wanted to be a part of, stop me from auditioning, so I need to work on that. Kind of ties in nicely with the last question. If I don't make it happen, it's not gonna happen. And that's especially true for auditions. No one's gonna come discover me out of nowhere and be like, ooh, I like you, I want you to be in my film. It's not how the acting world works. <laughs> I wish that's how it worked, but I just have to constantly put myself out there, otherwise I'm never gonna get parts. I have quite a few. Uh, I've always wanted to be the first goth Disney princess. It would be so much fun to voice and sing a Disney animated character that's been a dream of mine for forever. I would love to be in a film in the Marvel Universe, that would be incredible. Or one of the Marvel shows. I would love to perform more opera. I've performed at a few venues, but I wasn't paid for them, so a paid opera gig would be amazing. I'd love to have my own clothing line. That would be really fun. And I'd also like to put out an album for singing, which might be one of my more realistic or achievable dreams. Germany. For the castles and the food. Gothic. Feminine. Sexy. <laughs> I think it has become completely oversaturated. It's insane that one of the top job aspirations for young kids now is to be an influencer. Back when I first started Instagram in, I want to say 2012 or 2013, influencers weren't really a thing or they were just starting to be. So I've been able to see how things have changed from that point to now, which has been 10 years. I think it's a really tough industry to be in especially because you open yourself up to criticism and negativity from the whole world, essentially. There's a lot of dishonesty. There's a lot of people saying whatever companies want them to say for money, but those people ruin it for the ones who are actually honest. So it's, uh, it's a mixed bag. <laughs> Be authentic. 
Uh, I know a lot of people say that, but it's true. And make things that you are excited about. Unless you're a really, really good actor, people can always tell when you're lying about something or if you're not really enjoying what you're talking about or doing. Plus, it makes it more fun for you as a creator to do things that you actually love and that you're excited about. Like for me, I love fashion. I love styling. I love wigs and hair and makeup. So it makes it so much easier for me to look forward to making content and getting in front of the camera every day and actually genuinely being excited when I make something. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I feel like a lot of people preach that, but they don't actually practice it. I think being kind is really important because you never know what the other person is going through in any situation, and it doesn't cost anything to be kind. I would love to do indoor skydiving. That looks like so much fun. I am an adrenaline junkie. I love roller coasters and going on adventures. I'd also love to have my own website was my New Year's resolution list. I make one every year. I did not do everything that's on this. It was to do more photo shoots, which I did. Uh, see Little Shop of Horrors and Sweeney Todd on Broadway. I'm actually gonna see Sweeney Todd next month, which I'm really excited about. Take dance lessons. That is something I've been wanting to do for a while, maybe in 2024. Visit Sabri, who's one of my best friends, did that. Record more music, which I actually did. I recorded a couple of covers this year. I think I did three spend more time with my parents, which I did, and make a memoir video with my parents, which I have not done, but I would love to do, just to get them on camera talking about their life experiences and things about me when I was little, so I have those memories forever. So hopefully this year I'll get to do that, and I have not made a list for this coming year yet. I hope you had the courage and the discipline to make what you dream about come true, because no one else is gonna do it for you. You have to do it yourself. And I look forward to seeing what the next year is going to bring us, hopefully good things. And I hope you're happy, future me. <laughs> and that is it. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Yay.